this July, the KTLA 5 Morning News turns 30. From now until July 8th, we'll be sharing some of our favorite memories over the years. Today, we're honoring someone who's been here since the very beginning. If there was a popularity contest at KTLA, he would win in a landslide. He has set the bar for anyone aspiring to be a street reporter. There's no one as talented as our very own Eric Spillman. Eric still works at the station? Sure I does. think that's astounding. Did I think I would be here 30 years after I started? No. Look where you at now, man. <laughs> Here's 25 years later, you yeah. still popping, dog. You sound good up there. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, Eric Spillman, ladies and gentlemen. Cannonball! I was part of the original Morning News crew. Eric Spillman has been covering this story. Well, Barbara, this was no holiday for the police. They were When the KTLA Morning News first came on the air, it was like a nighttime newscast that was playing in the morning. And we quickly began to realize that that was not the right format for this time of day. When we realized that we were almost failing, and it was six months in, Everybody just decided that, you know, what have we got to lose? Let's just open it up. Let's do what we want to do. We'll tell jokes. We'll, we'll do goofy things. Eric Spillman at about 50 miles per hour. We'll laugh at ourselves. And that's what we did. And we really relaxed our attitude. And it was no longer a traditional news program. It was, it was loose. It was funny. Krisky was crazy. He was doing nutty things every day. It was, it was unique. And it worked. Finally. It is the best. <laughs> oh, Eric Spillman is by far the best street reporter in LA. Eric Spillman is everything a reporter should aspire to be. He can do it all. I can always trust that if Spillman's going to be on the story, he's going to get it absolutely right. We can see the extent of the damage and the destruction wrought by last night's fires and rioting. I've been a witness to history here over the last 30 years. In the beginning, when we started, there was a riot. There was the Rodney King trial. The officers accused of, of beating Rodney King. There was flooding. There were fires. There's the O.J. Simpson trial. Um, and after that, there's been every kind of disaster you could name, earthquakes and and. Uh, brush fires of various sorts, and so many different things that have happened over the years. President Trump is temporarily closing the border with Canada. Covering the pandemic is maybe the most important story that we've ever had to cover. The news that we're giving really mattered to people. It was life or death. He's a genius reporter. No matter what story he's on, you can put him as a lead. It's going to work. Eric Spillman is my idol. Our Eric Spillman mm -hmm. is a man <laughs> of many it's talents. True. This is the first broadcast we've ever done from inside where the donut making process is well underway this morning. Let's Anything. see some excitement about the LA Kings. Go Kings! Woo! There's Eric Spillman! Yeah. One of the things that makes Eric so brilliant is how able he is to flip flop from a really hard news story to also going and having fun. He's kind of like this Renaissance man. He can cook, loves sports. He probably plays an instrument that we don't know about. And he's the one who pretty much put the snow angel on the map. Imitators across the country right. for 30 years have yeah. been but they're doing not you, this, Eric. But mm -mm. to do it properly, come to the veterans. So look at him grab. Look at that. Do you dare me? This might be a first. I like this the sneakers too, Eric. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. How and patriotic gonna... is that? Whenever we're talking about something like gasoline prices going up or anything, he does the fist. Why? Why? Uh, no, he's giving the fist. And he does that because the rest of us can't. It just became a trademark. I can't remember exactly how or why. It's just it's just a way of expressing frustration about things that people are, are bothered by. The KTLA Morning News, Eric Spillman. I think my favorite part of my job is, you know, we're writing history one day at a time in, in the hometown that I love. We're just watching that big shadow come up behind you, Eric. Right? <laughs> Don't scare me like that. <laughs> I get to see cool things before anybody else. I get to try and describe it and meet so many great people. Uh, you couldn't ask for anything more than that. Anyone home? Hello. Are you Rosa? Hi, I'm Eric with KTLA. We brought you flowers for Mother's oh Day. God! This is the biggest surprise in my life. My God, I never expect this. Will you give me a hug? I do. <laughs> oh, how about that? Oh, Rose. Happy wow. Mother's Day to you. Happy oh, this Mother's is the best Day. Talk Mother's about a deserving I, mom. I could have.
Oh, Billy. Eric Billman. Uh, it's yes. like now attending your own funeral. Uh, <laughs> Aging like a fine wine, I, if I do say so, so myself. Much. And, and I'm not retiring for all of those who sent messages. I'm going to still be here tomorrow. Uh, what a great piece that was put together by uh, Layla and by Brian Chu. And uh, it's just a fantastic place to work. Thanks to all the people who help us every day behind the scenes. Yes. Thanks to my wife, Lynn, who's putting up with some crazy hours over the years. Uh, and thanks to the audience, of course. I just feel grateful to be a part of this community for this amount of time. It's my honor. Oh, well, Eric. it is our honor to have you every day. And as I said, we, you know, and you gave me permission to do this. I to, didn't need to, to be, give you permission. Yes, no, to, to, to be, I don't want to say more like you, but to, to understand that, that our viewers get it. Yeah that we're human beings, that we don't have to play the role of newsman all right. the time. Mm. It's know, a mutual admiration society. You guys do a tremendous job, oh. and, and you've taken the ball and run with it. And I'm, I'm just grateful uh, that we have such a great group. I mean, these people are exactly off the air the same way as they appear on the air. Uh, same. You there's, too. There's, there's, there's well. Now, your best friend, at least he goes around telling people that, <laughs> Sam Rubin, uh, on the flash cam, he wants to talk about oh, you too. God. Oh God, he's got things to say. <laughs> I'm no, sure he I, does. I, I, <laughs> just come in here. But I know. I, well, but here, here, Eric, does it feel like thir because 30 years is a big number? Yeah. Does it feel that way? Yeah, I mean, the things have changed so much over the last 30 years. It's remarkable. Mm -hmm. um, it does feel like a long time. <laughs> yes, it does, Sam. It really does. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for um, making him feel uh, older, well, Sam. Sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> but uh, I think what's really special, too, you know, you guys have both been on this show for 30 years, you, Mark, Gail. But what is the, the bond and the friendship like between you guys who've known each other a long time? Your kids right. are friends. I mean, with Krisky and with Sam, I mean, it's a special bond because, you know, we all started here about the same time, and Gail, too. Yeah. And, um, you know, they're, they're my brothers. You yeah. Know. Yeah. So. Uh, there's a, there, um, a wedding contract in the Jewish religion is called a ketubah. Right. Uh, and the, uh, Eric and Lynn are the signatories on the uh, wedding contract that Leslie and I have. Oh. So, um, yeah. but it's, uh, no, it's, it, it is remarkable because I look at Eric and I think, uh, you know, none of us have aged a day. But, uh. but, you, but you look at some of that footage and it's so old. Yes. <laughs> so oh it's really weird. Again. Yeah. No, I think I told yeah. Eric, I said, you know what, Eric, you haven't aged much. I'm right. telling you. Yeah. Looking well, good. thank you so much. Yeah. And that's so kind of you. And people are saying the nicest things. Can you, <laughs> can you be like this to me tomorrow, too? Yes. And the next day? Exactly. Please. Exactly. We need well, you that to get up great. at 1 o'clock in the morning yeah, if you don't for mind. For sure. Yeah. Well, you're awesome, Spilly. Um, we want to share the love for our 30th anniversary with you over the next couple of weeks. We're going to be giving away. Oh, where are our swag these, bags? These uh, incredible swag bags. Uh, it has an anniversary mug and all sorts of surprises inside. Yeah, all kinds of goodies. So text the code word FIST in honor <laughs> of Eric Spillman <laughs> to 515. Boy, I don't know about that. I'm right? a little concerned about that. <laughs> the 30th, text FIST. I don't know. The 30th entry oh, win. man. Um, he's a lover, not a fighter, though, you guys. Exactly. He's the best. It's a joke. Yeah. It's a joke. Eric, thank you. Right, thank that you. That was so great.